few months ago, I shared with you a really great website and app called Socrative. Socrative allows you as the teacher to poll your students or to ask them quiz questions and have them use an electronic device to respond. Now, Socrative is actually releasing soon Socrative 2.0, which is their upgraded version of the software. It's pretty much a complete overhaul of their services. But if you want, you could go in now and give it a test run using the beta. To do this, go to beta.socrative.com. Now, this is fully featured, and you can go in as the teacher. You can also have your students go in. They won't be able to go through the app yet. That update will be happening later. But if they go to beta.socrative.com through the browser on their device, then they can go in and select that they're a student. So I'm going to select that I'm a teacher, and I'll just show you a different interface. And here's just a little um, note just reminding you that it is a beta. It is work in progress. So log in with the account that you used to create it. For me, it is just my RaiderWeb.org. And when you first get in, you'll notice that uh, it is a little bit different. It is streamlined. You can take a look, and you'll notice that at the very top, you have the room. And this is how the students will log in so that they can take your quizzes or your polls. Um, you could also click on Menu here at any point, and you can see that there's the option to clear the room or to log out. I just click Menu to hide that again. And then you have four main options from here. You could start a quiz. You could do quick question, which will just give the students a multiple choice question that they can answer. Space Race is a fun way. It's a game where the kids each get a rocket ship, and for every correct answer they get, they start winning the race. And you could also use the predefined exit ticket here. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how to manage your quiz so that you could get started creating it. And I'm just going to click Manage Quiz. I could import a quiz. If you already created quizzes, they will be they will show up under here under My Quizzes. You also have the ability to see the reports of how your students responded from any of the quizzes that you assigned before. I'm just going to click Create Quiz. And I'm just going to call this Sample Quiz for Tech Tip. And if it is shared, this here is the spot where you will get the, um, the number to share with your colleagues. And then all you need to do to get started is just click a question type. So I can do multiple choice, true or false, or short answer. I'll show you what each one of these looks like. So here's multiple choice. It'll automatically give you a series of options. So what is your favorite color? And this is going to be one that doesn't have a correct answer. This is just an opinion poll. Red, blue, green, black. Now notice I ran out of options here. I have five. I could just hit add and it will give me another question that I could put in. So I'm just going to put in other. If this was one that did have a correct answer to it, all I'd have to do is check one of these boxes here. If I would like to get rid of one of mine, I can either edit it or click on delete. So if you want to, you could also put an explanation and you can also add images. So I'm just going to click on add an image and I'm going to choose the file. And on my desktop, I have a picture that I'll upload showing a box of crayons. At this point, I can add another question. So I'm going to add a true or false. And that will show up underneath of my previous question. This answer is true. Select correct answer. Now I'd like to add a short answer. And for the short answer, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. All right, so at this point, um, I'm not going to add correct answers because I want this to be totally open ended. I could change the order of my questions by clicking on these arrows here. If I want to delete an entire question, I just go up to this X and I can hit it. Whenever I'm done, I just go up and hit save and exit. So now I'm ready to actually show this quiz. So I could go in and I'm going to select start a quiz. And I have one here that I did earlier that has more questions to it. So I select that quiz and I just go hit start. And I can decide from this point, do I want it to be student paced? So does each student go at their own pace? Or as the teacher, am I going to go through and manually release each question? So there's advantages and disadvantages to both, depending on what your goal is with your class. But I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do student paced and I'm going to hit start. So from this point here, it's telling me that I don't have any students in my class. And it tells me that I have five questions. It will actually show me as the students go in 
and they answer the question. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the student side and I'm going to take this quiz. So now I'm going to log in as a student. So I'm going to go to beta.socrative.com and I'm going to select I am a student. That will prompt me to enter the room number. So here is that room number. I'm going to select go. The first question will have me enter my name. And here are the questions that I put in. Now notice one of the differences now is in this upgraded version of Socrative. Over here on the left hand side it allows the students to actually skip questions and go back and forth as they're working. And it also tells you what kind like true and false, multiple choice, and short answer. So here's the what is your favorite color. This was the opinion one. I'm just going to select an answer and hit next. Here's a random fact. Approximately 40,000 Americans are injured by toilets each year. That is a true statement. So I'm going to select next. Which president said, I'm president of the United States and I'm not going to eat any more broccoli. Notice here's a picture that I had placed in here. And then I could go down here and select from the list. That was George Bush. Select next. And here is a nice big long word. I'm not even going to attempt to say it. But it is the fear of long words. Definitely a benefit when I create the questions that I know the answers. So what did you do over the weekend? Visit it. Family. So notice here at this point I can go in. I can click on any of the other questions to change my answers. Again, this is a student paced quiz. When I'm finished, I click finish quiz. Are you sure you want to finish the quiz? You won't be able to answer any more questions. It says you've completed the current activity waiting for the teacher. So I'm just going to minimize this screen and here you will see this is the teacher view. So from the teacher view you could see that one student is a hundred percent complete and I could go back and see which answers that student has placed. I could click on each one and I can see even more details to what they posted. So that is just a real quick overview of Socrative 2.0. Um, it is in its beta version. You can go in and play around with it, and you could actually use it with your students right now. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great week.